let's recap what we did last time by making our player class a data class too. Annotate your class with data classes .data class and let PyCharm do the rest. We'll check our tests still pass, which they are, remember they're auto running. And now we'll control and tab back to our test to add a real test for our construction. But whoops, we can see that it's failing immediately because we set PyCharm to auto run our tests every three seconds. Let's control and tab back over to our class to add the constructor that this test needs. Perfect. Control and tab back over to our test and test it properly. And it's all passing. Let's talk about the errors that we all make and how to succeed faster. In our player test class, let's accidentally pass in a byte string. PyCharm warns us that something is wrong. We can hover over the error and I can see that I'm sending in bytes, but my constructor is expecting a string. And then my test will automatically rerun and fail, telling me the same problem. Ideally, your code will always be working, but that's not always the reality of the situation. Let's see how we can use jump to error inside PyCharm to find and fix errors faster. First, we'll assert that a new player has an empty list of type guardian. Then we will make a new test which makes a guardian and then a player, and then tries to add the guardian to the player and finishes with an assertion. Aha, errors. We can use F2 to cycle through the errors in the class like the three we have here. Let's start by adding the add guardians method to our player class. We can get PyCharm to do some of the heavy lifting here so we don't have to. Put your cursor over add guardian and use option and enter or alt and enter and select add method add guardian to class player. Now we can fill in the blanks. We'll change G to guardians, press tab and fill in the method. Guardians is underlined here because PyCharm doesn't know what that is yet. So we'll fix that next. We'll create a new data class field called guardians to store the list and let PyCharm handle the code completion. And now our test passes. Let's see some other ways that PyCharm can help us to find and fix errors. Let's make a silly mistake here and then immediately head off to another class we've been working on with command and E or control and E for recent files. From here, we can see that our tests are failing. Whoops. We can head down to our PyTest output, click the link and fix our mistake. Phew, tests are passing again. In addition to PyCharm alerting you that there is a problem, PyTest helps you to understand the errors when they occur. What if we accidentally added a player as a guardian? We can prevent that by first changing the list to be of type guardian, then change our method to say that it must receive a guardian of type guardian. Control and tab over to our test, where we try to add a player instead of a guardian. PyCharm will immediately warn us, we can see the warning here, to say that it expected a guardian, but it got a player. And of course, our test will automatically rerun and fail as well. Let's finish by fixing all the errors so all our tests run. Congratulations, you have learned various ways to find and fix errors, including F2 to jump to the next error in the file, using Option and Enter or Alt and Enter where you see a squiggly underline in PyCharm, and using the PyTest output that you can click on to go directly to the error and fix it up. You also saw how PyCharm and PyTest give you immediate feedback on your code. So you can find the problem, fix the problem, and move on to your next masterpiece. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and you can click this QR code for more PyTest resources.